This is my video review of Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager Class Megatron. Voyager Megatron. Well, the figure comes packaged in robot mode, so I'll be showing you robot mode first, and then later on I'll be transforming from robot mode, obviously, into vehicle mode, and then I'll show you a size comparison of Megatron in vehicle mode uh, as compared to a previous movie line figure also in vehicle mode. But first off, just starting and looking at this figure, I like the overall look of it with the cape and as I'll show you soon, I'll show you the damaged eye on the head sculpt. But it really carries over from the last movie when we saw Megatron was you know, terribly battle damaged and it carries over into this figure here. So it really gives the figure, I guess, some character. And if you're a fan of Gundam, you're going to notice that this really resembles the Gundam Exia Repair Gundam. So, so for you Gundam fans, that's another bonus if you like. Uh, some of the themes that carry over into Transformers from Gundam, uh, this might be a figure you want to check out. Uh, Design-wise, pretty nice sculpt. Uh, just give you a close-up look here with the cape on. And uh, primarily the colors are this color here, sort of a, I don't know how to describe it, maybe a darker tan. You do have a little bit of silver paint apps here, just very faint, and some some kind of uh, brown here which is more of a paint out for the vehicle mode. Uh, the cape here is a soft plastic almost feels like rubber but you can see there's sculpted into the plastic is some detailing with the straps here and so forth uh, which also comes to, into play in uh, vehicle mode. So really nice design. Let me go ahead and take off the cape here. It simply just pegs into this slot here, into there. So now taking a look at the head sculpt, and actually before I get into that, take a look at how the size of the head compares to the rest of the body. I'm of the opinion that the head is just a little bit too small in comparison or in relation to the rest of the body. Maybe it's just me. I, I don't know, but uh, I'd be curious to see what you guys think. Uh, again, this is the Voyager class, so uh, hopefully they'll be making a leader class um, DOTM Megatron. But anyways, uh, taking a closer look at the head sculpt. Uh, fantastically sculpted. There's actually some silver paint apps. Uh, it does have light piping in the back there, you can see. In the way of articulation, well, the head itself is on a ball joint, and the shoulders can rotate like that. But you also have articulation right there at the where the shoulder meets the arm. You have a bend right there, but you also have another bend right there. So pretty nicely articulated in the arms. And the wrist slash hand can only do this. It's on this little joint there. Moving on, you have articulation right there due to uh, transformation, but you do have movement there. And the legs themselves, they can go forward like that, back, out just a little bit. You've got a swivel joint there, and that's really all the articulation you have for the leg. Well, you also, you also got a bend right there so you know pretty basic articulation and as far as the other accessory you get you get this you know this mech tech weapon which pegs into this arm or it can peg over here into that arm you can also insert it into this port right there which uh, I'm not going to show you how it works in, in robot mode but I'll show you how you can use it in vehicle mode I think it's more appropriate to have something pegged in here on the top of the cab in vehicle mode, but it, you can, if you wanted to, you know, peg this into there for like maybe like storage, for example. Uh, let's go ahead and show you the mech tech weapon. And in case you don't know, these Voyager class mech tech weapons, 
you can lock them in place. What I mean by that is you've got the weapon like this in this mode, as you can see, but if you push against the, the main section of the weapon, you can see it pops out like that. Now on the deluxe class weapons, it'll simply just pop out and, and back into place. But with these Voyager class mech tech weapons, you can actually lock them in place. So you push forward to engage the mech tech gimmick and then rotate this like that and it should lock it in place. Unfortunately, I do not have a Voyager class Megatron from the previous movie lines, nor do I have a Voyager class Optimus Prime from the previous movie lines. But what I have here to show you as a size comparison, of course on the left we have the Thundercracker uh, repaint of Starstream from the previous movie line. And on the right is of course Recon Ironhide. Uh, you can see both in terms of height and bulk, Voyager, DOT, and Megatron looks quite skimpy, skinny, and short. And here is Voyager Megatron next to a couple previous movie line deluxe figures, Sideswipe and Dead End. Finally, here's a look at Voyager Megatron next to two deluxe class DOTM figures. On the left, Starstream. On the right, Crankcase. And just for fun, I'll also show you Megatron next to Roadbuster. And finally, Top spin. All right, so I'm going to begin the transformation from robot mode into vehicle mode. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate these shoulder pieces around so that you have the spikes facing out. And then I'll take the hand, fold it up, and get the arm ready for transformation into vehicle mode like so. Now for the chest section, you want to take the two pieces here, snap them together, and then what you want to do, you want to grab them onto the chest, pull it out like this, and then you want to take it and separate it like that. So you got to fold it out like about like that, and then at this point, what you can do is you can take the head, rotate it back like that, close up the top of the cab, and what you're going to do is you're going to be bringing the arms together like so. They'll come together like this. And basically, this is kind of the tricky part that I find is you got to bring this piece up to about this position, approximately. So you're going to want to have this white section here be flush up against the wheel arch, as you can see there. And there actually is a tab and a slot, and this is all supposed to fit together, like so. You want to take these two sections down. These were the shoulder pieces in robot mode. You want to put, push them down like this, and then they should snap together to form the... I guess you call it a grill or the cow catcher, but you can see there how it comes together. Like that. You want to make sure you rotate the ab section 180 around like that. So once you've come to this point in the transformation from robot mode to vehicle, this is what a Megatron should look like. And the reason I bring that up is because I had difficulty the first several times when I tried to transform from robot to vehicle, especially with the arms. But if you take a look at the undercarriage here, uh, for one thing you can see there is a white section of plastic with some slots in them, and they need to match up with the tabs on the arms. And then furthermore, you actually have to watch out and make sure that this section here, right where my finger is, there's this another white bar here, and there's a corresponding groove on the arm and they need to actually slot into place. And then finally, for the next step in the transformation, you'll notice here there is a groove and there is a corresponding tab right where my finger is right there. And that should tab into place like that. And just the same thing on the other side. It will also tab in place using a similar slot. And then you want to bring down the smokestacks. 
And then the next step, you want to take these wheels here that are see they're at kind of an angle. You want to move them or rotate them towards you so they're actually like that. You can see the difference there. Rotate out like that so they're straight up and down in vehicle mode. Moving on to the final stages of the transformation, you want to take this piece right here, rotate it down like so. Take the lower part of the leg, rotate. Take this section here, untab it from the side, and then what you want to do is you know rotate the foot like that. We'll do the same thing over here, untap from the side, rotate the foot to that position. And this is kind of cool. If you take a look at it from the side here, there's this kind of unique joint. What you want to do is you want to take this and rotate it up. See it's going from here like that, and it locks in place there. Well, not really lock in place, but it sits in place. Uh, just do the same thing on the other leg here. Take it, push it up like that. <clears throat> so you want to take the hip and push it up like that. Same thing over here, push up like that. Take this section over here and that should tap into the side of the vehicle like so. And do the same thing on the other side. Tap that into place. And then it's just a matter of tapping in the back section of the vehicle in place, like so. Next, you want to take the mech tech weapon, put the peg away like that, and then what you're going to do is you're going to insert it into this section here. It doesn't really lock in place or tab in place, but just kind of kind of rest in there like that. And then to complete the effect, you want to rotate this back in like that and stick this on the back of Megatron's vehicle mode. And here is Megatron in vehicle mode. Give you a little rotation here, look at the vehicle from all sides. Uh, you can see there's the Decepticon logo or symbol right there. And as I was mentioning before, you got some kind of brown to simulate like I guess dirt or grime uh, on the vehicle and you can actually kind of rotate the trailer section to side like that you know it's just a little bit so if you wanted to pose the vehicle mode in a certain way you could like it's turning or something like that as you can see there the vehicle rolls pretty well as you can see all the wheels move and again I like the detail on this tarp again it has these straps here that are uh, molded into the plastic so that's really nice now I did mention the fact that you can actually peg in the mech tech weapons into this port on top of the cab so if you wanted to you could actually do that with Megatron's weapon it actually does require a bit of force to get in there but once it's in, once it's in there you can see it actually looks kinda cool in uh, vehicle mode and of course you could actually extend out like this and do that sort of thing and lock it in place this is from uh, top spin uh, I can use crankcase's weapon it is pretty yet uh, it is a tight fit uh, so you gotta use quite a bit of force to get them in and out but yeah you have that option. It's actually a nice playability feature. If you're a kid and you have other mech tech transformers, you can mix and match the weapons and have a good old time playing with your transformers. This is Voyager Class Megatron in vehicle mode. This is Voyager Class Ironhide. Any questions? And Voyager Class Long Haul from Revenge of the Fallen. So just to give you a more in-depth look, do a uh, comparison this way. You can see, and I'll go ahead and take this off and do a comparison like that. And finally show you long haul. And last, but certainly not least in my size comparison review, I will be comparing a Voyager class Megatron to a deluxe class figure. 
And here we go. That's right. Sports car versus tanker truck. Yeah. Let's see a little side view here. So this is where the scale is really off with this particular Voyager Megatron. I don't have any other Voyager DOTM figures yet, but uh, definitely Megatron, as far as size goes, is a disappointment. And I think a lot of people are waiting for the leader class Megatron, which I haven't heard has been announced. I don't know if it's an official, yes, the Hasbro is going to make a leader class Megatron. It only makes sense. Uh, we've got a leader class Bumblebee. Don't get me started on Bumblebee because I could make a whole video rant on the overuse of Bumblebee, but that's another video. But yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people are waiting for a leader class Megatron. Uh, really nice design. I really like the concept of the vehicle mode, uh, you know, being a tanker truck because, you know, it's like a truck versus a truck. You know, you have Megatron in one corner and you have Optimus Prime with his cab and trailer in another corner. You know, truck to truck, leader to leader. Uh, that's really cool, but uh, I think a lot of you are going to wait for a leader class Megatron. Well, I hope this has been a informative look at the size comparison of Voyager class Megatron next to two Voyager class Transformers from the previous movie line and a deluxe figure from the previous movie line. So final thoughts on Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager class Megatron. Well, let me start out with the positives first. I do like the overall robot design as well as the vehicle design. Starting with the robot design, I like the fact that he does show battle damage. It actually lends the toy some character to have, you know, his head sculpt with the eye damage and having the cape over his shoulder. And of course that leads nicely into the next movie. Now the vehicle mode actually is appealing to me as well because you know, now we have Megatron with a, a truck and trailer alt mode to go up against uh, Optimus Prime with his truck and trailer. So really glad to see that as far as the design for the vehicle mode. Of course the cons or the negative things about this figure is the size, especially when you look at Megatron's vehicle size compared to previous uh, Voyager class movie line figures as we saw previously in the size comparison. It seems kind of skinny, kind of thin overall, and I don't know if that's on purpose to show that you know he's actually in a battle damage state, but I kind of hope that in the leader class version they bulk him up, they add more bulk to his midsection and uh, you know upper body. I, I just think this kind of looks like he almost like it's a skeletal robotic version of Megatron which maybe is what they're going for because after all he you know at the end of Revenge of the Fallen he was badly damaged in battle so maybe that's kind of to reflect this and who knows maybe we'll see a different mode or different version of Megatron by the time uh, Dark of the Moon is finished by the time the storyline is, is over so anyways uh, yeah I mean, I think the bottom line is most people are going to wait for a leader class Megatron figure. There's good and bad about this figure. It's up to you to decide whether the good outweighs the bad or the bad outweighs the good. Alright, well this has been my review of Transformers Voyager Class Dark of the Moon Megatron.